Hi and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore how to achieve precise movement with a popular 9 gram micro servo SG90 with an Arduino Uno. This tutorial is perfect for beginners who want to integrate servo motors in their projects, whether it's for robotics, automation, or art installations. Let's get started. A servo motor is a rotary actuator or linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity, and acceleration. It it consists of a suitable motor coupled to a sensor for positive feedback. The SG90 servo is a small and lightweight motor with three wires, red, brown and orange. The red wire is used for power. It's usually connected to the 5 volt supply on the Arduino Uno. The brown wire is for the ground and the orange wire or yellow sometimes is the one that we use for the control signal. This carries a PWM or pulse width modulation signal and is used to control the motor position. Wiring the SG90 servo motor to the Arduino Uno is straightforward. Start by connecting the red wire from the servo to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino to power the motor. Then connect the brown wire to one of the GND pins on the Arduino. And finally connect the orange wire to a digital PWM capable pin on the Arduino. In this experiment we'll use pin 9. The reason we use PWM to control the servo is that the signal's duty cycle will dictate the angle to which the servo arm moves. By changing the duty cycle we change the position of the servo. Let's move over to the Arduino IDE and have a look at the code for this experiment. We'll use a simple program to sweep the servo back and forth. First, we include the servo library. This library provides easy to use functions for controlling servo motors. Next, we create a servo object called my servo. This object will represent the servo motor we want to control. In the setup function, we attach the servo motor to pin 9 on the Arduino. This tells the Arduino which pin is connected to the control wire of the servo. Let's have a look at the loop function next. This is where we control the movement of the servo motor. In the loop function, we have two for loops which move the servo back and forth. The first loop moves the servo from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, and the second loop moves it back from 180 degrees to 0 degrees. Each for loop iterates through positions in 1 degree increments. The myServo.write function sends their position to the servo motor. The delay15 function pauses the program for 15 milliseconds giving the servo time to reach the new position. Let's upload the code to the Arduino and watch the servo in action. You can see how it smoothly transitions from one angle to the other, making it ideal for projects requiring precise movements. And that's how you use a servo motor to achieve precise movements. Servo motors are incredibly versatile and can be used in a wide array of applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.